and then uh, I will explain the rules of engagement to the world. If it's when it's your turn, you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will go ahead and share the screen. Of Five the splash page. Four, three, two. We're live. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to Jim Axe virtual challenge of the week and this week we are so excited to have with us members of jimac teams from arizona state from northern illinois the owls are here norcal united and of course uic uh also excuse me uh, new york alliance uic is on my list of i'm sorry they're not here today they're still trying to recover from that building fire they had about a week ago uh, so anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Breeze Olson here live from Santa Cruz, California. It is sunny and beautiful today. I hope you are all having a good day and excited about life as I am. I have with me uh, today here, this is the Gym Act uh, virtual challenge. We call this Gym Act Live and it is 1010 in the morning. Therefore, the challenge for today is called 1010. How many presses to handstand and handstand push-ups can you do in one turn? That's the challenge. Earlier in the week, I tried this myself and I made three, three, not bad for an old man. I haven't done these in a long, long time. So I'm pretty proud of that. So thank you for being with us. So let's go ahead and bring up all of our contestants, the judges, the coaches. Welcome everybody. Thanks for being here with me today. So uh, today with me, I have the esteemed, very VIP judges from an undisclosed location in Southern California. With us, we have Mr. Nathan Suji. Nathan uh, was uh, an athlete at uh, Washington, and uh, he also trained here with us in Santa Cruz for many, many moons. And uh, these days, he's uh, traveling all over the world, enjoying life, um, but uh, only as safely as one can. Uh, anyways. So there we go. That's Mr. Nathan Suji, and I will tell, talk more about Nathan in just a second when I feel like compelled to embarrass him. We also have with us Mr. James Martin, and James is from Illinois and joins us today from somewhere in Chicago, I think. Not if that's correct. No? Oh, my gosh, James. So go ahead and unmute yourself and tell me where you are in the world because I actually didn't get to talk to you beforehand. Uh, I'm in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. Oh, my gosh. That's yep. kind of exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, we have about 25 different time zones today for everyone is here. Let's go. Well, James, thanks for being here. Of course, James, you will remember he competed for a UIC uh, in his tenure as an athlete uh, here, with, uh, both, both as an NCAA athlete as well as a Gym Act athlete once their program was dropped. And uh, also, James is the 2020 N2 award recipient. So James, thanks for being here with us today. Uh, it's spectacular to have you here. All right, and we have coaches from the esteemed uh, uh, teams that are here with us today. I have, I've seen it on the screen, I see my friend, uh, Jesse is there from Owls uh, in Philadelphia. I have Scott right there from Arizona is here with us as well. And uh, representing the, uh, the team from New York Alliance uh, in the place of Garrison today, we're going to have Mr. Ryan Bristow. He's there uh, making sure that everything is safe for his athlete competing and then making sure the equipment is going on okay and everything. And, of course, uh, John Lucas from NorCal United on the line with us, uh, making sure that our athlete uh, Ezekiel later on uh, is doing what he's supposed to do and no more, no less. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's go ahead to the challenge of the day. 10-10, handstand push-ups and presses. You can do them in any order you want. You can do them uh, scattered or staggered. You can go press to handstand, handstand push-up, and then whatever order you want to do it. Uh, you can do them as a superset where you do all the handstand push-ups at once or all the presses at once. You can switch those around however you want to. But the count, the official count is this. It has to be a combination of presses and handstand push-ups. If you do 10 presses and two handstand push-ups, guess what? Your count is 2-2. Two, two. Get it? All right. And if you do 10-10, you are not only awesome, you also want to make sure that you go maybe above and beyond and do a few more handstand push-ups because that's going to be the tiebreaker should more than one athlete do the 10-10 challenge for today. So judges, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and unmute yourselves. Feel free to talk as much as you would like about these athletes in the order that we're going. We're going to call the first guy up from Northern Illinois, Mr. Micah Puckett. And he is originally from Montgomery, Alabama, and uh, currently doing a physical education major, hoping to go into kinesiology pretty soon. 
Micah, of course, you'll remember if you were paying attention to the last broadcast, he did not do pommel horse last week because he has uh, new ink on his body. So, Micah, I'm going to put you on a hot, hot spot over here. Uh, you're going to have to show us your tattoo so that we see what it looks like because, uh, you know, because of that tattoo, ladies and gentlemen, we had uh, a change in the schedule in the last minute. So that's beautiful. Congratulations on getting the new ink. Look forward to seeing your 10-10 performance for today. So, judges, are you ready? Can I get a Let's verbal confirmation? Yeah, ready to go. All ready, right, ready. let's do this. So, Micah, you are up and ready, bud. Let's go. 10-10 from Micah Puckett from Northern Illinois University. Good luck. Yeah, he's getting himself straight. He's a ghost. Oh, sweet him. salute and everything. No, no right? Salute. Very professional here, Micah. Do we need to see the full frame? Well, I, I know how, somebody's spotting <laughs> someone him. Someone hanging going from on. the rafters above. Someone yeah, is, someone's up. No wires, are there? Yeah, I don't know. Does he look? Does he look like he has a belt on? What's What's happening? Ooh, looking good, looking good. He's breaking it up to the best of his ability. I like that. That's a good strategy, judges. Please focus on what you're doing. I will do the uh, the bantering myself. I like that. He's keeping his uh, form. I like it when the the, there's no question as to whether or not the credit is given for the skill. Oh, getting, getting to the planche now. You can tell the fatigue starting to set in when he starts to planche Come out on. and no, no longer compressing the presses. Oh. oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, my gosh. He's got at least a couple more in him, I can tell. Let's do this. Let's Come go. On. Come on, Micah. Keep it Come going, on. buddy. Oh, yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Come on. Finish that up. You can get that one. Oh, yeah. And he oh, collapses. Okay. Well done, Micah Puckett from NIU. Oh, oh. That was fantastic. Judges, you have your work cut out for you. I am excited. I stopped counting Oof. halfway through. So that was fantastic. Micah, congratulations. That was awesome. Way Thank to go. You. Way to put it all out there. That was really, really cool. All right. So uh, let's go to the judges. Mr. Nathan Suji, what do you have as a full count for Micah Puckett from NIU? I mean, I think we had like six presses and nine handstand push-ups. That sounds right to me. The uh, last we, we... press was like a press and handstand push-up combined. <laughs> so I don't know if we're like giving credit to one or the other or you know calling what? that like an accessory. Right. But yeah. But so I, so I, I... I think you're going to have to make a judgment call there, Mr. 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 Tsuji. Uh, by, by the rules of engagement, it really doesn't matter. I think any one of those answers is correct because the number is still going to remain the same. Well, actually, no, yeah, that's not true. No, because it would be – yeah, we get, I gave nine handstand push-ups and uh, six presses. Six presses. All right. So we're going to go with uh, Micah. You got yourself 6-6, six, six, which is an honorable number. That is fantastic. Way to set the bar. That is much higher – uh, parallel bar that I could have done. That was a fun right there, Nathan. That was for you. All right. So uh, fantastic. Without further ado, let's move on before I get burned. And uh, from the Owls, uh, Coach uh, Jesse is there ready with Nicolino Di Batista. He is a senior, the co-captain of this wonderful team from the Owls. He is majoring in kinesiology. Uh, but with the problem that we have is that sometimes we get him confused with Elvis Presley. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out today. We're going to see uh, both Elvis and Nicolino doing his presses. So, uh, Jesse, we're set. <laughs> he looks like he's ready in the background, already embarrassed to start. Nicolino, you are on the hot seat. Judges, are you set? Yeah. So, Nico, yeah. Hey, do this. I want to verify one thing first, according to the Please rules. Do. We're allowed to go straddle L. Yes, we are. We are allowing the straddle L as long we as it's uh, as long as we're not swinging in. It's going to be okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make yeah. that a, a, an okay thing. Straddle L. All right, guys. So we want to make sure make sure that it's the uh, to the benefit of the athletes. So, Mister yeah. Nicolino, bring it on. Come on, Nico. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he's going for the L, starting with a strong momentum on his presses from the straddle L, pressing to handstand. He's looking good. Nicely done. Good compression. Yeah, good compression action. He's got Real to nice a point and everything. Man, if we were doing the deductions, this, this is working well. I know, right? This is, this is uh, I don't know. He does go off frame ever so slightly, but then someone would just be helping him hold. Oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're working on it. We're working on it. Oh, he's clean. I like this. He's working well. Nice range technique. of motion as well. Yes, yes, indeed. Ah. I guess he's got the full bent of the elbow as necessary right there. 
Right, refresh. Oh, refresh. Play the smart game going. Too. Here we go. He's, he's going for round here. two. This yeah, I like technique. it. This is good strategy. I, I, I appreciate seeing different Press strategies six. for different people working with their strength. Oh, no way. Oh, man. This is looking good. Oh, oh that's going to be it. I'm going to st- – oh. ah. oh. An unfortunate oh. turn of events right there. The drama of the – I know. I wanted to show you because everyone is here in pain from having seen this happen. Oh, it was beautiful. It happens huh? to the best of us. Dude. It happens to everyone who has oh, ever God. been on that hot seat. Jesse, I, I, you know, it, it just heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Where's Nico? Is he over there? I, let, let's get him, get him on a frame. We have to get his. Let his, him dry his tears first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nico, Nico, tell me what happened, buddy. So on that last uh, straddle L, I try to get my, my, uh, what's it, my feet up a little higher. So I can do like a proper straddle L. But when I did that, I kind of sat my butt down and. Oh, I know. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I applaud you for going for the perfection of the skill. And, and that's exactly where it's at. Anyone who goes for mediocrity is no longer, uh, you know, it, it's written off my book. So, Nico, you, sir, have gone full out for the best performance pros- possible, the best of your ability. Put yourself out there on the line, risked it all, and unfortunately came off, came off short. So uh, we're going to go to the judges now and see. Judges, yeah. tell me a little bit about what you saw there and uh, how you feel about this performance. I saw some I mean, really good form. Yeah, it was very nice great technique. Super clean. I agree. So let's yeah, talk, let's talk, let's talk numbers. Break. Yeah, I know, right? So, so with that break on, a, on, a, on falling down on the straddle L, what did he end up with? Uh, I had four handstand push-ups was the lower number. I got, yeah, four handstand push-ups, but there were six presses. So six if presses, someone did yeah. six handstand push-ups and four presses, I think he would win because I think a press is much harder. I, I yeah. appreciate what you think and your opinion, but that's not going to count because I wrote the rules, and my rules are that you have to do the push-ups to make it. Oh, that's what. Numbers. Okay, yeah. all right. So and, uh, thank you for yeah, for your input. Okay. okay, moving on. We are going now to the NorCal United representative. John Lucas is there here as a coach, making sure that our uh, freshman, new incomer to our team, Ezekiel Eason, and uh, is uh, doing everything that he can to the best of his abilities, staying safe. We're going to go ahead and spotlight Zeke here. Zeke is from Northern California, and uh, he uh, trained his whole life at Excel, as far as I understand, and uh, still to this day, in fact, still training there because he is going to San Jose State uh, studying the, you know, simple form of aerospace engineering. So because somebody has to. And uh, as they say, uh, this is not rocket science. Turns out for him, it is. Uh, but what we're doing today is not rocket science. We're doing presses, enhanced and push-ups. So, Zeke, you look like you're ready. You're set. Uh, I'm going to let the, the world know a little bit about Zeke just because that two days ago we had our team meeting for the week uh, for NorCal. And uh, he informed us that he entered a, a little challenge with his own friend uh, and who can do the most push-ups in one day. And I believe on thir- between Wednesday and Thursday, somewhere in there, in a 24-hour period, this young man uh, managed to pull off uh, 2,000 push-ups. And uh, he's got his cat there watching him to make sure that after those 2,000 push-ups, he's still being safe on his presses and handstand push-ups. He's uh, you're going to do them on parallettes, on the floor, using his aerospace engineering books for support and space. <laughs> I thought he was going to do them on the rings when he first came into frame. I yeah. know, right? I was kind of hoping for that too. That would have been awesome. But uh, Zeke, we're going to keep talking about you. So just just hang tight for a second. So uh, there is a joke in here about aerospace and the space between the parallettes and the floor. I don't know. I'll I'll let it go for now. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ezekiel Eason from NorCal United going for his presses and handstand pushups. Zeke, take it away. Oh, beautiful. Nice control. I am going to vouch for this young man and his integrity and say that there is no assistive uh, supporting equipment of any kind. Uh, He's going down pretty well. He's keeping great form. This is my favorite one so far, by the way. I'm just going to say it out loud. Nothing to do with the fact that he's one of my athletes. Nothing at all. No favoritism (laughs) there. Uh, Yeah, so I'm going to let you guys decide this here because uh, I'm seeing a couple things that I can tell you right now I would have been talking about it if this was not a public forum. 
Zeke is looking great. He's doing his compressions. Oh, he's going. Oh, his glasses oh, are not oh. even fogging up yet. No, that's just for that's just for drama right there. He's he's strong. I can no, tell. Come on, Zeke, you got it. Oh, Building he's got suspense. It. He's got it. Oh come on! Come no, on! No, oh, no, here no. we go! Come on, Zeke! No. Let's get this, buddy! Oh, oh there, there it was! Comes down after the press or during the press. That's going to be up to the judges to decide. Zeke, go ahead and unmute yourself. I think you have already. Good. Let's uh, let's get some uh, some some feedback. Well, how do you feel about today's performance, bud? Let's we're going this yeah. way with every press. Uh, turns out those those books are only useful in school. Uh, they're not. They don't make great uh, support for your gymnastics career whatsoever. So it turns out there's a separation of uh, education and uh, academia and sport in this particular case. So Zeke. Uh, so as the parallel started to slide out, uh, you ran into a little trouble there, but. Uh, did you feel like your body was already giving out at the end there, or could you have done more if those things were solid? I want to know. The, the public wants to know. I definitely think I could have, could have done a bit more if, I, if they were solid. All right. I'll just give you three extra presses for credits just for that beautiful answer. Thank you. On my side, <laughs> things are looking great. All right, judges. I don't think that's how please, it works, Judge. <laughs> please tell me what you think about Zika's performance. I do, that was just, it was heartbreaking as I could just, like, we all know that feeling with the parallettes. And yeah. I just saw them sliding and sliding. And I just like, oh, it was so painful. Because you definitely had at least like two more presses in you, I feel like. Oh, yeah. yeah. But not in a Japanese handstand. So yeah. I, no, I, that would have been extra presses. credits. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know you're strong, Zeke, but that, that was a little too much <laughs> even for you, buddy. That was a bit ambitious. So our judges, let's see. Uh, what numbers did you have then? What was the final count? I got uh, three presses and seven handstand push-ups. Right. Uh, I, was, I was a little tougher. I only had three and five. I didn't give credit on all those presses, uh, push-ups. I mean, all right, fair enough. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to, to, to uh, uh, respect your numbers because you guys are on the judging hot seat. Nevertheless, the, the, the lower combination of those still remains a three-three. And uh, Zeke, thank you so much. Uh, I'm just going to put it out there to the world in public, and uh, you know, three-three. Uh, uh, that's what I did earlier this week. Good job, buddy. Hey, uh, and, and congratulations on 2,000 push-ups in one day. That's a heck of a lot more than I could have done, that's for sure. So moving right along to the athlete from New York Alliance, uh, we have Craig Jason. And I have a little text here about Craig to talk, tell you all, and it's uh, that he's originally from Dayton, Ohio. Uh, this young cowboy majors in management of natural resources at the University of Environmental Science and Forestry. Sounds fancy. I, I, that sounds like something I would want to do. And uh, he is also a fierce cadet commander of the Syracuse University Air Force ROTC program, where he plans to train as a pilot to the Air Force upon graduating. So some high aspirations and goals for this young man. Uh, let's see if I can find him on my little list here. And uh, here we are uh, from an, uh, New York Alliance. I'm going to spotlight him. So, uh, Craig, are you ready to go, bud? You said he's also on his uh, parallettes, low to the ground. That's going to be challenged to do the stooping action. But I'm excited that people are doing this wherever they are in the world. That, that this is why we're doing these challenges. Not every team in the country is able to to be training in their gym as often as we would like to. Of course, we are still having a lot of restrictions in all kinds of places, and uh, uh, different states have different. Uh, different rules right for what can and can't be done so these challenges are keeping these guys active it's keeping them involved and i love it so craig thanks for being here with us today from the comfort of your home and uh looks beautiful the lighting there is fantastic so you look great dude let's see how many presses and handstand push-ups you can pull off take it away Some judges here we go those parallettes. that's right here we go Okay, looking good, solid so far. Always going for the, the alternating techniques. Uh, judges, good luck with that one. That was uh, the pressing, the push-upping press. Oh, oh. lost his balance. No. Unfortunate turn of events for Craig. Craig, go ahead and unmute yourself. We're gonna have to hear about this. The drama, I, I, I can tell that by the physique, you are disappointed because you could have pulled off a heck of a lot more. Craig, tell me what happened there, buddy. Uh, I think what happened is I helped my friend move this morning, and my back's yeah. a little bit uh, tired from it. Sounds like a cop out, but I swear. You know, you know what? It, it's it's uh, it's it's a reason, not an excuse. Is that what you're saying? So from from <laughs> I saw your... him on the CrossFit Live workout too. He was lifting boulders and 
He was yeah. putting up a dam to save the a city from like a flood and everything. That's what it was. It was. Crazy. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna step in here and say you know that there is no college gymnast that I have ever met that who is not the most outstanding of human beings. And Craig, thank you for helping your friend with his uh, life changes and uh, for putting yourself at risk at the cause of uh, helping a friend. And then unfortunately for you and your team, that was an abysmal performance, gymnastics wise. Oh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Kathy, they're gonna crucify him for that. Uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, anyway, so Craig, congratulations and thank you for, for playing with us today. But judges, we're back to you in the studio. Uh, tell me about the numbers that you came up with for that performance. I, I, have, I have one, one and one. Yeah, I think we're going to give him one and one. We're going to go with a generous one and one there. He, you know, he, he did all the parts of both of those skills. You just have to break it up. And, you know, the, they were kind of the combined up. But yeah, there I think were, it was there half was a pressing one. And and pressing, so. Yeah, all right. There, there all were right. elements of movement in there that represented those things in an abstract sort of sense. <laughs> it's like interpretive this, this like gymnastics. Art. Yeah, it's the artistic it's like, part of yes, artistic gymnastics. Yes. That's what we're going for. All right, yes. Craig, that was awesome, dude. Thank you for, for, for being here today and taking your time to, to, to try it out. And, and we know uh, you're know, strong enough. So and it's we okay. know you're stronger than that. And uh, thank goodness it's only the beginning of the season. All right, we're going to the last competitor of this afternoon now to some of you and morning for me. But if I keep talking, it's going to be afternoon here too. We have from Arizona State, Mr. Flint Bornstein. And uh, let me see where he is. He's right here with the Scott Spotlight. Flint, thanks for being here with us today. And I understand you are originally from uh, Wisconsin, and you train at what's called m and and currently studying global politics at ASU. All right. You know, I, I saw you, you told me that the name of your gym is m M&M and that, that got me excited about, the, of course, the candy, but I'm sure that's not related to what you are. What's the actual name of your gym, sir? Uh, the actual name is so the gym here is called Aspire. My gym back at home is called Eminem Gymnastics. Um, if you guys know who uh, Chelsea Memel is, her parents own that gym. So uh -huh. that Memo and Memel was the name of the gym. There it's it like, is. There it is. I, of course, went to, uh, to high school in, in, in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and that was close to Hershey. So I thought maybe you guys were actually affiliated with the candy kind candy bar somehow but anyways all right so here we go uh this is the 1010 challenge from jimac.org and uh this is flint bornstein he's going to do his best attempt right now in front of his colleagues and the other athletes from aspire gymnastics coach scott is there and ready thanks for being here judges are you set yep, yep. let's rock and roll let's make this happen flint take it away you ready okay all right here we goes last athlete Going for the handstand presses and push-ups. All right, he's got momentum. He's got power and speed. I like it. All fair, all good. Looking good with form, compression. A little adjustment there on that one, but he still looks strong and healthy. You know, the first one with the, the one and one technique. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, doing the alternating set, which is, uh, in my opinion, a harder way to go. But you know what? That's me. And I'm not. Looks like it's working for him so far. Seems to be. All right, all right. He's going strong. Oh man, oh man. Taking full advantage of being on a full parallel bar. Absolutely. <laughs> he's, that's that's one thing that is uh, you know allowed. He's not touching the ground with his feet, and uh, you know judges are going to have to deal with how they they uh, they uh, they. Uh, uh, call each one of those skills is it the skill that you're supposed to do is it not is he swinging to handstand is he actually pressing you guys make a decision he's still going he's still going oh it's trying to show some signs of fatigue here we go come on now let's, let's go Flint. Going. wow Never oh seen man oh man and you know today is the 17th so maybe he's going for the 17 17 who knows we are, uh, we're all, of we're course, 2020. Uh, set. Oh, 2020. Oh, oh, collapses. Goes to the end of his own ability. Collapses on the last press right there. Did all that he could. He's going to stagger his way back to the camera. Flint, awesome job. Awesome job. Congratulations. Oh, he can kind of hear me now. So, Flint, tell me a little, bit about, a little bit about what you just did there, how you feel about your turn. Good. Um, I think it wasn't my uh, best performance, but I feel like it was pretty good. Uh, this morning... Uh, we have a tradition on our team to go run up this mountain that's near campus. So uh, we as a team went and did that. So my legs are a little tired, but uh, everybody, I feel like I did pretty good. 
I kind of like the technique of kind of going from an L press to a handstand push up. I feel like that's just more my style. So I could keep right. coming exactly where I was at. You, you, you're just going one at a time, just kept going until you could go no more. You don't even know exactly how many you did. So let's go to the judges here. This was our last competitor. This was Flint uh, Bornstein from ASU. Uh, so Flint, tell me a little bit about, uh, excuse me, uh, Nathan and James, what do you think the numbers ended up being for Flint? Uh, we gave, I gave him 10 and 11 respectively um because uh there's one there's one in there that i thought that was too much swing on the press and so i, I couldn't give it credit but yeah definitely definitely the winner by a long shot here all right eyes. all right good good thanks for this for your uh, op optics there nathan what do you have yeah i had a 10 and 11 because yeah one of the, one of those presses looked more like when i do presses which means that it's not really a press <laughs> so, but the handstand push-ups were all the way down. You know, they were great range of motion, good control. Um, obviously, I, we didn't get that last. I, I have but, I've but. been coaching Nathan since he was six years old, and I can attest to this that uh, anyone who does a press like Nathan, I'm sorry, you're not doing presses. So, <laughs> sorry to good tell swing you. Good handstand though. Yeah, the swing handstand was there. Really pretty so, swing handstand. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's do the official announcement right now. In third place, place with a golden virtual medal is. From the Owls, Mr. Nicolino Di Batista, four and yes. four. That is a good, solid number right there. I want to there. see him try again. In second <laughs> place, we have, from Northern Illinois, Mr. Micah Puckett with six and six handstand push-ups. And the one to complete the actual challenge today, 10-10, something that I used to do as an athlete in college myself. My, my coach, Marco Sakamoto, is the one who instilled in us this tradition of doing 10-10, uh, or attempting to do 10-10 every Saturday morning in our strength workout. So that's where that came from. I had to give it a little shout out there to my BYU former coach. And, uh, and also, uh, on a side, uh, nowadays, my father-in-law. I'll let you all do the math for that. Anyways, um, Winning today's competition with 10-11. One more than necessary, Mr. Flint Bornstein from ASU. Right there. Let's put him up on, the, on our here. Flint, congratulations <clears throat> from all of us here at uh, Gym Act and the, uh, other, the competitors and the judges and coaches. How you feel, buddy? Is this, this must be one of the highest accomplishments of your life. So <laughs> then, let's hear how you I feel. I feel good. I feel good. Thank you. Thank you, really. I do feel good. Thank you. Awesome. Well, those are the, the words of the champion for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today in this live presentation from Gym Act. This is Gym Act Live, bringing to you live competitions and challenges as often as we can, as often as I can uh, pull all-nighters and put these things together. With me, of course, I have to give a shout out to my cohort and, uh, and compatriot, Mr. Robert Davis. He is the digital brains behind the virtual stars gymnastics website and uh we have partnered uh virtual stars with gym act and we're we, we're, we're we're trying to create these uh hybrid competitions that are uh, putting together the submitting of routines to get judged in tandem with the live factor we all know that it's a huge difference when you have to salute when it's your turn, under pressure, in front of your teammates, in front of the other judges, in front of the other uh, athletes, it's a whole different set of circumstances that is the real competitive uh, experience. Uh, so we're trying to bring the live aspect of that competitive experience to gymnastics, to college gymnastics, and it's, we're being pretty successful so far, I would say. We're bringing in the judges, we're bringing in the scoring systems, we're putting together the live video with the Zoom platform, and uh, it seems to be working okay. So if you can see and hear what I'm saying, this is part of what we're doing trying to get these concepts all put together into something that we can do from a distance, virtually, but in real time, uh, you know, bringing people together from all the way from Amsterdam, Mr. James Martin. Thank you for being here with us. 2020 winner of the N2 award, Mr. Nathan Suji from somewhere on the galaxy. And he is the 2019 N2 award recipient from Gym Act. Congratulations. And thank you both for continuing to do good work and participating with the gymnastics world. We love you for that. Athletes, thank you for your participation. Coaches. So it goes with backflip. Without you, we couldn't have done that. And yes, the last thing, and some of you may or may not know about this, but the tradition <laughs> is we close the broadcast with a backflip. So I am make, start making your way to where you may or may not be able to do it. Craig, please be careful. Don't break any furniture. 
uh, in the process here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to call it out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to call Nathan since you were the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the first N2 award recipient. I'm going to let you go ahead and call out one, two, three. We're going to say go gym act. And if you have room where you are, go ahead and throw a backflip. I see Robert is ready. He's been training all week for this part. He didn't do the one. <laughs> no handstand push-ups from him this week, but he's been doing his back duck in the living room. Please don't hit so, that, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Breeze Olson bidding adieu. And Nathan, take us out of here. One, two, three. Jim Act. Oh, Jim Act. Yeah. Everyone's Be alive. Well. Stay healthy. Stay strong. And we have officially closed the official.